Hello everyone, my name is Roshan and welcome to 2K Watch Photography YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn how to create bluish color tones in macro and nature photography. So that obviously includes this butterfly. So this is the before and this is the after. Now, um, uh, to create such smoothy color tones, first thing uh, what you need to ensure is that you have the right version of Photoshop because few tools which I would be using here might not be in let's say Photoshop CC 2019 before starting ensure you have Photoshop version of 2021 or above and if you think you have it so let's get started first thing is uh, if you are having a JPEG image you need to open that image on Photoshop and you need to click on uh, filter and camera raw filter and if you have a raw image then you can basically just open that image and camera raw settings will appear so once you have reached the stage of uh, where you can see those camera raw settings and those adjustments so we can go ahead first thing is um, as i always say we need to uh, sort of decrease the exposure uh, i mean we need to make that image a bit more punchy so after you have done that uh, next thing is composition for composition you will find this crop tool uh, on the second panel here so uh, the thing is that composition allows you to adjust uh, the main subject of your image i mean if you want to remove those distracting elements or you know you, you just want to emphasize on the main subject so composition is just for you so uh, it can lead to a more visually pleasing and impactful results so well it also has its uh, application in storytelling but uh, i guess that's a topic for another video so once you have cropped your image uh, you can again uh, try to uh, select the subject to select the subject uh, you need to find this round icon and you need to click on select the subject in this way the photoshop's algorithm will automatically select the subject it's artificial intelligence inbuilt and once it has done that, uh, I mean, first it may take some time. So we gotta be patient. Now it totally depends on your processor and your RAM and other parameters how fast it will go. But once it has selected the subject, click on this icon to invert it so that uh, we can make changes to the background. Now, um, this is how we basically can adjust all those parameters. So first thing is we need to decrease the temperature to create moody color tones moody bluish color tones actually i'm sorry so uh, we need to decrease the temperature and once we do that uh, what we need to do is we can experiment with dehaze now every image is different so i won't tell you that okay you, you, you need to dehaze it to this limit or you know ensure that this number should come but it's just how it feels good in your image you can occasionally try increasing the saturation and Increasing the saturation does make the image look good from my perspective. Now we need to add a dynamic light. So please click on uh, linear gradient and you need to uh, drag it from the top so that we can add a light source. And in this lighting adjustment, you need to increase the exposure. In that case, you will see an extraordinary light coming from the left hand side. Now it depends where you want to keep it. If you want, you can keep it on right hand side depending where your subject is. So in this case, uh, I'm going to create another gradient, uh, another linear gradient. And this time I would be decreasing its exposure to create some sort of vignity. And this dynamic vignity does look good. I mean, in one part you will see light and in other part you will see darkness. So it looks a bit eye pleasing from my perspective. So uh, you need to adjust it, you can move it left, right, forward, backward and you can do any sort of changes if you want, you can increase, decrease the temperature, exposure, contrast, highlights, it's all up to you. And this time, I will open the image. So after opening the image, uh, is I'm going to replicate these flowers. To replicate these flowers, um, we need to go to the quick selection tool. And we need to select that flower, click, uh, right click, uh, new area copy and you need to drag it everywhere. After dragging it everywhere, you need to go to that individual layer and you have to go to filter and then you have to choose cast and blur. In that case, 
you need to set this radius i mean the more would be the radius more blood this flower would be so after you have done that uh, you can easily uh, create those blurry flowers and it will improve the overall look of your image now uh, what i suggest is that if you want to again edit this image in a way to make it look good uh, you can add another light source apart from that linear gradient you have an option of adding a radial gradient so um, to add a radial light what you can do is um, from the uh, uh, bottom most right hand side uh, you need to go and you need to select a gradient filter if you want you can increase or decrease the size by just sliding the scale percentage and and once it's done uh, you need to select that blend mode make sure that ra that radial filter uh, layer is selected and in the blend mode you can choose any of those which suits the best for, for your image their overlay looks a bit better so this is the before and this is after so with this in mind um, I think uh, now it's time to adjust the colors so to uh, adjust the colors you need to go to the bottom of layer and click on selective color and you can adjust colors of yellows and basically each and every primary and secondary colors so I, I would be choosing yellow and in yellow uh, what you can do is you can adjust the slider to make any color more bright more intense more light or you know some different shades and use of that color you can easily adjust them using the selective color tool it will only affect the color that is that is selected and it won't affect other colors so uh, so this was my video on how to edit bluish color tones in macro and nature photography so thank you so much for watching it